Hi, this is Sahara playing Ebidon 3 The Warborn, and we are currently in the actual refuge, the hidden outpost, and we have to, um, we've talked to a lot of people here, we still have the, um, Redbeard to talk to in his Keeper's Hall, but right now we're going to talk to Commander Denzi. Me, Commander Denzi again. Last time you saw him, this warrior of the Kaaba was at the entrance shouting at Redbeard, so at least you know he is brave. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> He's kind of a handsome looking man. Now he was sitting at the fire, cleaning sap off of his shield. The green refuge is lovely, but it also tends to make everything a mess. He happily sets the job aside when you approach. He looks up at you. We weren't properly introduced. I'm Denzi. Welcome to the refuge. I suppose you're here to lecture me for being rude to your master. Not really. <laughs> Redbeard needs to have people stand up to him. Um. What were you and Redbeard arguing about? He wanted to set up a forge inside of the Green Refuge. It's forbidden. I made them move it outside the East Gate. It's not defended, I know, but the smithy isn't allowed inside. Why not? Fire? Denzi laughs. Believe it or not, no. These walls of mine burn, won't burn. Ever. Ever. Weird magic, right? No, it's because the working of iron disrupts the magic of the refuge. I don't understand it, but I also know better than to argue with the shamans. It sounds like Redbeard was wrong, and he was wrong. Of course he was. Even when Redbeard was in command, he could not change the laws of magic. Those laws stay th say that working still will disrupt the magic, protecting us. That is the end of it. But I don't want to argue about it. You're here now, and you seem sane. I could use your help. So tell me about the Green Refuge. He looks up at the birds chirping in the canopy overhead. It's beautiful and maddening. We are well hidden and this place is surprisingly easy to defend. It's also dirty and it makes me nervous. It's a great asset to Abaddon and I'm sworn to keep it safe. We just have to follow the rules. So how long has the refuge been here? He laughs. I don't know and the shamans won't tell me. All I know is they, offer, they offered it to Abaddon two centuries ago in return for some great service or another. It's been ours for now. Unless Redbeard destroys it. So who created the refuge? I wish I knew. Did shamans grow it from nothing? Was the magic directly here and they shaped it? Are there other refugee, refuges, refugees out there, refuges out there that the shamans keep hidden for themselves? I asked, but they aren't talking. There are a lot of rules. Not so many, really. It's hardly magic. It's hardy magic. The refuge is the only real rule is that nature has to be the tr the real power here. We can use very little other magic, no working stone except underground, and no working of steel. When Abaddon made me commander here, I swore to keep this place safe. I will, no matter what Redbeard's Red Redbeard says. Well, I think it is wise of you to keep this place safe. Thank you. I will follow the law and obey my oaths. Redbeard can do what he wants. He'd love to throw me in the, his dungeon, but they, but they threw him out of the Black Fortress. Ha! <laughs> okay. Um, you are from the Kawa. I am. A warrior of the sands. A follower of the Stone Code. Trained in the arts of battle there. Then given the highest honor being picked to serve Abaddon. As he talks, he sometimes fingers a symbol hanging around his neck. It's an intricately carved piece of dark wood. Why aren't you a hand? I don't know, but I have a guess. Redbeard was still in charge when I was recruited. He didn't think I was servile enough to be a full hand. I think he was right. So why were you brought to the Windowland? After Redbeard was kicked out of Avedon, acting keeper Protus put top priority on ending the rebellion. We can't crush our enemies outside until we can, until we calm things down inside, right? So to deal with the rebels, warriors from the Kava, to, so to deal with the rebels, warriors from the Kava were what we, were what was called for. Ugh. Why are warriors from the Kava in demand? There's a lot of bad blood out here. Old grudges, bloody raids, hunger for our revenge. We need to... We need people here 
who are calm, who are just, who will obey and enforce the law. Who is better at that than the Kawa? And what is that symbol? He touches a wooden symbol, a rare privilege. When I wear it, all of the defenses of the green refuge, hidden and visible, can be commanded by me. For example, I can tell the sentinels what to do. Yeah, can you let me command the sentinels? Really? Uh, no. I'd like to know more about the sentinels. <clears throat> they came with the refuge. They aren't intelligent. They don't talk. I don't know how they were made or how old they are. Maybe they all grew out of little pots somewhere. I don't know. I know they're fearless and fierce in a fight. That's enough for me. Why would I want to command the sentinels? Can you let me command the sentinels? Of course not. The shamans trust me. They gave me a rare privilege and I will obey the rules they set. I didn't give the symbol to Redbeard either. Believe me when I say he wasn't happy about it. I imagine. So you mentioned that you had work for me. I do. I am bound to this sport. But a hand can wander. You can hunt. This is good because there are several rebels who just need to die. Their crimes are too great. For example, there is a raider named Al Alert, Alric. I want you to kill him and I will pay well for it. Will this make it harder to make peace with the rebels? No, some of their number are too drenched in blood. Their crimes are too great. If they live, a true peace will be impossible. I think the rebels in Kirkator will understand. If not, it's their problem. So what are Arlbrick's crimes? He led the, stack, he led the st sacking of three villages. I won't go into the gruesome details. I'll just say that if he lives, there will be a lot of bounty hunters and sc score settlers running around causing trouble. Not wanted. And where can I find this Alric? Our scouts sometimes follow rebel scouts. In the other way around, their scouts have been at the border of the corruption a lot. When we were following them, we think we saw Alric there. He's been hunt he's been hiding just inside the corruption, so be wary. And what does the corruption do to people within it? It warps them, changes them. If they eat something grown inside the corruption, it's even more extreme. Maybe he was turned into a harmless palagoo, or maybe he might be more dangerous now. Oh, well, I thought I said I have another question. The worst of them. Okay. So I got a quest. I'm starting to pack up a lot of quests. Yeah, let me see how many I got now. God dang it, the scrolling is terrible on this. All right, the true love thing. Says says he's still. I think um. I need three of these or four of them. I've got two, so I need more. I don't think I need the beakers. Did she have one? I can't remember. I thought I gave some to. No, I didn't. Okay. All right. So that's another. Quest. I want that potion. I already got all my fruits, so now we're gonna go to the keeper's hall, which is over here. Oh, oh, did I speak to? Oh, that's the trophy hall. That's right. The keeper's hall is up here. Did I speak to this person? Oh, that's these are my hands. Never mind, those are my hands. This is Keeper's Hall. To Keeper's Hall. Duh, okay. Massive guards watch over as you walk by. Still doors are set in the cliff face to the east. Redbeard insists on far more than mere vines and plant monsters to keep him safe. A guard says, the Keeper is in there. Think. Think he's waiting for you. Yeah, I'm sure he is. No doubt in my mind. What, you guys sleep out here in the open? It appears that way. Hmm. What are these? Stills? What are you doing with those? That's a little odd. Here I come, Red Beard. You be yelled at some more. Okay. Nice coat hanger. Champions. Champions. Got another champion. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Elite archer. Okay. 
There you are, Red Beard. Okay. I'm just scoping out the place. Make sure there's. Did you bring Dalis with you when you came here? Oh, there's a portal. That's interesting in itself. I couldn't use a portal in the other place, but now, oh, here's Dalis. You did bring him. Hmm. You approached the Dalis crystal, sitting comfortably in its new home in the Green Refuge. As before, it is guarded, but from a distance. It won't talk to you unless you are alone. When you approach, a dim light flickers into life within the stone. You hear the voice of Dalis. Sahara, you are there? Yes, I see the stone has reached its new home. I won't bother to ask where. You are done with Camerion, yes? Your mission is done there? Do you know what I did there? I know most of it. I have so many agents in Camaria after all. I have so many agents in Camaria after all. They are a close ally. Well, they were. I have spoken to them and learned much. And what did you learn? That you made me look weak. I offered many rewards if they s stayed in the war with us. Your arrival proved that I am distant and weak. I doubt they will be loyal allies much longer. You did this. You defeated me. The war is far from over, though. But I am curious what happened to the humble little town of Banatokstead. I wasn't able to learn. Hmm. You don't already know. I don't have agents there. It is a small, unimportant place, really. I am more interested in you. I want to know what you did to them. I was not merciful to Banatokstead. Well, maybe in a way I was. Yeah, because I didn't raise them. You will find out soon enough. No, probably not. They are small and unimportant. I hope you show them a small measure of mercy. I don't think you will. I think in the end the pact will be brutal to Chimeria. So Chimeria is lost to us. Chimeria will leave the war. Yes, you made them refuse my help. They will suffer more losses. They will surrender. Then the pact will get its revenge. That is how the story always ends. The Chimerians will suffer and you caused it. I only have one more question. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I feel like a villain is trying to make me feel guilty. Yeah. Mm. Chimerian attacked us. We need to show everyone how much of a mistake this is. You are the enemy. I defeated you in Chimeria and I will beat you everywhere else. I regret what I was forced to do there, and I pity them for the punishment that is coming. Hmm. You know, I feel like a villain is trying to make me feel guilty. Fair enough. I'll let you resume your new job. Bring in the cruelty, the cruelty of packed justice to the Winnelim rebels. We'll see if the results of that changes your attitude. Before you can respond, the crystal goes dark. Okay. So what is it you're trying to get from me? I just don't quite get it here. You're trying to influence me. Yes, I already know that. But what happened there was your fault. It was your fault. Nope, we got another. Is this a new one? This book is about the Keeper of Abaddon. I thought we already had that on here. Maybe not. Where's it at? The, it said the Keeper of Abaddon. The far, oh, here it is. They're not in alphabetical order. Why is that? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> They're not in order. But we have seen the Keeper of Abaddon before. Because I remember reading this. Redbeard's current location is unknown. Well, whatever. It's them. Ooh, what's this? Grogu. I will take it. We got another one here. This is about Abaddon. Okay. Abaddon. See, they're not in they're not in order. Okay. I'm just scoping this place out before I come talk to you, Redbeard. Oh, this is the kitchen. Obviously, because there's bread in here. Yep. So what door can I not open? Not one I can't open. Psst. 
stone bust. Is anyone really around? And a harp. Huh? It's not worth it. It is not worth it. Yes, I'm coming to you. I'm just doing some last minute shuffling. Oops, that is not what I wanted. I think I got everything. Yes, I do. Got everything but talking to him now. Okay. So I found Dalis. There's a... Okay. Well, where'd you, where'd you go, Redbeard? You were, oh, there you are. You moved. Hmm. Redbeard's table is not covered with maps of the Windelim. All of his reports in scrolls about Camaria have vanished. When you approach, he is poring over the mountain of information. He nervously scratches his neck with his hand. He says, as you can see, our work is in Camaria is done. We need to move to a new, new focus. Though you were there a while, I did want to ask. You have more of a feel of them now. What did you think of our foes, the Camarians? They were comp competent, but they were no match for me. They were only farlanders. I have nothing but contempt. No. They were fierce warriors. I feel lucky to have escaped alive. Um. Well, I think number one shows that I'm weak. Number three, no, no. Some two. A good answer, though you shouldn't give farlanders any credit. Even if it is true, kind words only give them hope. Break their spirit whatever, whenever you can. They didn't merit respect anyway. Once you rebuild their true weakness, they had no hope. Their true weakness? Chief Tilla's love for her son, her fear for his life. I know I am belaboring the point, but it is vital if you are to control our foes. Once that weakness was revealed to us, they had no chance. Boy, you're harsh, 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 harsh. Yeah, I will use any strategy I can against her enemies. I shouldn't Grit live. It was a bad example. No, that was not a bad example. We needed him. That's If we hadn't let Grit Garrett live, then this whole outcome would have been different. I'm pretty sure of it. It was dishonorable to use Chief Tilla's son against her. I do feel that, but at the same time, we had to. Right? Oh boy. Because they would have done the same thing against us. And that's true. They would have. And I see another two more codexes over there. I got to go check out. I will use any strategy. Redbeard smiles. Good. You are learning fast. When dealing with the Far Lands, there is no such thing as honor or dishonor. Only the health of our people matters. Nothing else. And you would have, Til and you would have used Tilla's son against her. Of course. I would have been harsher than you, honestly. He should be in our dungeons now, having every little secret slip, stripped from his mind. Who knows what he didn't think to tell us. Family and loved ones are our greatest vulnerability. To trust. To care about someone. It is... I had a dream last night. So why are you suddenly tell me about your dream? He doesn't, we've already asked him about his, fa his family and he would never go into it. What dream? I dreamed I was back in Abaddon. I dreamed Harm Miranda, my old advisor, that traitor. She came to me. She was an angry spirit and she tried. Never mind, I woke up. It was a very unusual dream. I have learned to beware of such things. Might it be significant? I believe it is. Such tiny portents can herald great disasters. I think I will find out sooner than I'd like. Now then, we have real matters to discuss. I want to know more about the war. Uh, these are some of the same things I think we already went through. Good, your efforts have earned us the freedom to look for other targets. There are currently four major fronts. Um, Should know about. Tell me about the Widowlim Rebellion, Madness, A Waste, Pure and Simple. The tribes of the Southern Widowlim decided their practices and traditions were more important than anything, better than safety, better than law, better than living up to the treaty they signed. So they fought. I still can't believe it. This treason must be dealt with. 
I don't remember if we went to this. What traditions were so important? Their shamans wanted to be able to follow any magic they won, even forbidden arts. Their tribes wanted to be able to fight freely, though fighting within the pact is forbidden. Yet that is not what finally lit the fire. What drove them to war? He laughs bitterly. The thing that broke the, the broke us apart? They wanted to be able to charge tolls on the free roads. Tolls are an ancient Wendelim tradition, but it could not exist within the pact. That is what finally led to skirmishes, which escalated into full rebellion. Tolls. It was madness. And how can the rebels be defeated? They must be made to see reason. They must know that survival in the pact is the only way to open for them. I think this may at last be possible. We must act quickly, though. What can we do? I know that the rebellion is crumbling. They are afraid. They fear for the lives of their children. If we can give them a path to safety, they will relish, they will rush for it. Then they will be ours. And why must we hurry? The rebellion is scared. They want to be saved. Dalis will try to save them too. We must help them first. Okay. Can I know more about you? Yeah, um... I want to learn about Abaddon. You have never been there, yes. You are driven out. It was weak. It was a shell. Traitors and his agents of Dalis attacked us. And ha okay, so that's... Okay. Alright, I have been dealing with the rebels of Kerektor. You tell Redbeard what you've been doing since you last spoke. It's not easy. He seems angry and distracted most of the time, but then he pounces on you with sharp questions about minor details. It's an unnerving process. Finally, he nods. You have done well so far. I would have been tempted to slip into Kerektor and kill every single rebel there. You correctly detected an opportunity. They want me to go to the border of the corruption. I think we already went through that. Good. This will give them information, but we will also gain it too. Yes, we did. Okay. Yeah, we did. I think I spoke to him about this when we were in Camp Nightshade. So, nothing has updated here. Oh my god, come here. So, it's still the same thing. Alright, so I spoke to him, which I was supposed to do. The envoy. Oh, I forgot about her. And that desecrated circle. These are all in the character, character, the worst of them. Um, charge of the Green Refuge. He is leading um, an effort to kill the worst and most vicious other rebels. Corruption bits. Drake Diplomacy, that's in that's in this one here. Okay. So I think we're done talking to all everyone that we need to talk to finally. Nope, I went the wrong way. Sorry. And I've taken both the shaman and the shadow walker with me. Um I have yet to take my Tinker Mage, but I know what Tinker Mages do because I am a Tinker Mage. So I really don't think I need to learn too much from that one. What is the fastest way out of here? It's down here. But do I want to go out that way? I need to do the... Um, yeah, I'm going to go out to the bottom. Where's it sat down here? Out to the bottom and then come in on the east side. So I will see you there. Alright, so now we are over here and we're going to go to the Drake's. We're going to see if we can talk to the Drake. Drake's Diplomacy. All we have to do is ask them not to kill the cows to take them somewhere else. That's all we have to do. <laughs> yeah, we know how Drake's work. Okay, and I've already been in part of this, so... Where am I trying to go? Oh, that's right. I came in here and they killed me, didn't they? Yep. 
Yeah, they did. Stay out, stay out. Yeah, these are those stupid ogres. What are you doing here? We're, we can't live this close to us. We're born can't. What are you doing here? Blah, blah, blah. So no matter what you do, they're going to attack us. They didn't. What? There's several... What are you doing here? The ogre is snarl. You go, human, go. What are you doing here? We fight for Drake, mighty fighters, mighty allies, Drake. Love us, go now, or we will eat you. Then Drake's eat little... Okay, the ogres have had enough of your presence. That was what they didn't do. Okay, so... And... You need... Ah. Put up a turret here. And this is what they did to us last time. They just ganged up on us. And we have the seer. Yep. I forgot to... Does she have hers? She's... I thought she had the heel. Oh, I forgot to check all that. Darn it, darn it. Make sure we don't get our own people in there. Nope, I did get me in there. Darn it. Let's try not to. Didn't do much good, though, did it? Hmm. I'm on the eyes. And then heal. She's got the heal self. I suppose I should have let them off on their own. If I'm going to get rid of the Drake, do I really need? <sighs> Oops. Who did I give that potion to? I gave, I gave that to somebody. The Scarab. What, I'm, I'm immobile? I'm shackled. Okay. I'm shackled. killed any of them, have I? <laughs> I don't think I have. Alright, that one died, finally. Hmm. Oh, I'm dead. There we go. Here goes my turret. Hum. All right. Which one is the seer? Venom. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, she's almost dead now. I Urgh. forgot about her days. Days resisted, which I figured it would be. Yeah. I forgot about my stupid scarabs. Oh, she's ensnared. Hmm. <sighs> I didn't do well at all. This one did I? Nope. following her now too. Ah! Oh, you were supposed to be up here. Damn it, didn't give me enough chance. What am I trying to get? Okay. stairway. <laughs> That's where I'm trying to get to. Oh, that's the ogre's lair there. We don't want to go there. We want to go... I can't remember how I came up. Alright. Yeah, I knew she was going to die. And you're going to come down here. You are going to... You come down here. Oh, you can heal yourself, dummy. Duh. Get rid of her! I know, I'm dead. Yep, I am. Bye! But at least I'm down here now. I can have a chance to try to heal myself. Come on. Alright, there we go. We got a couple of them out of the way. Are they like right around this corner here? Or did they go back? They went back. Where are we at now? There we are. Oh, they didn't go very far, did they? Okay. You're going to come out here and you're going to do... Why can't we get... Oh, because I'm in... Uh, I don't think I... No, we can't. Damn it. 
Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright. Oh, I'm ensnared too. Nope, it... You missed. Okay. Come on. We gotta get her out of here. Come on, here we go. I know. She, nope, she's not. Come on. What does she have? Potion of speed. I'm supposed to have potion of speed. Oh, but I'm slowed. Darn it. She's so close, too. Shackle, yes I am. Almost. And then she healed. What? How come it didn't go back up there? What? Come on, Collider, you can do it. All right. There. All right. Okay. We're done now. That one was tough. Okay, a ruin etched glaive. 38 to 114. 10% to magical damage. 18% to melee damage. This is already 18%. 15% for bow damage. 15%. I mean, it's a little bit better, but then I'm going, well, she's already got a two handed one. But does she do magical damage? It's not really that much more, but 10%, 18%, this is, this is still 18%. I don't know. I might have to think about getting rid of mine. Can't equip this. Oh, I need 10. 33 to 99. God, it's so much better than what I already have. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. That was not good. That was not pretty. Oh, there's more of them here. I thought I got rid of them all. I guess I didn't. And I'm not even all the way healed. Okay. 
Okay, so you know what? Um, I hate to even put you out here. All right, we're just gonna go and heal you. I'm gonna heal myself. Okay, let's see here. Almost. Alright, that one's done. That one's done. That one's done. Okay. All right, girls, that was not pretty. Not pretty at all. What do we got? Money, chain mail. I know she's got chain mail. She's got something better than chain mail. I've already got, yeah, I don't think you can, you can't wear it. Um, money, speed burst. Tunic. All right. That took forever to do that one. And we haven't even talked to the Drake yet. <sighs> okay. He's down here. So, yeah, that was longer than I wanted it to go. So I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode. Next time we come back, we're going to be talking to Drake, see if we can manage to persuade him to hunt in other... He can stay here, but he needs to hunt in the next... Um, area over whatever that is so if you enjoyed this episode click like leave a comment thank you for watching Sahara out